Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Desire Let's Play Subserver Season 5. The reason why it's still like episode continuous is just that there's like the regular amount of players are still playing on the server. And the same owners, it's like the same players, like the same same everything. Not same everything, it's a new world. It's just that yeah, the same players that you expect to see in like previous videos, so might as well continue the series. And there's a few changes that happened that yeah that occurred on this server. Here's my XP farm by the way. This is what you do if you start off with the uh, a server, right? You just need XP to get your diamond tools and all that. Oh no, hey, but So basically what this does is just that it goes to there, this tunnel system, and then it goes there and then they get channeled into this little room and then I go down here. And then there's this crazy redstone stuff that I had to like YouTube just because I, I didn't know how to do a pulse lengthener. Or, or yeah, just pulse length Turner length. GH Turner. If you want to check it out. So there's this piston to push the zombie inside the thing right there, and then you press the button, and then it smashes them. And then the, the pulse length thinner, it goes through all that redstone stuff, right? And the repeaters turn it back on to bring them to like a couple of hits. I don't think that they're one hit since. They're, they have the armor health, right? And the crush or any fall damage will not bring them down. So I have to use like a stone sword or something and hit them. Okay, so this server, the reason why it's reset, it was dying. So the owner decided to reset it and it's in 1.8 now, but it's, the world was loading 1.7.10. Just that it, the, there was only plugins available for 1.7.10. So 1.8 plugins are not available. But the server is in 1.8, so you'll see 1.8 features like the the doors, every 1.8 feature you uh, there is the there it's included. So I'm gonna just carry all this to spawn since I don't want people to take the stuff. There's also a bug. I'm not sure if this is expo, but uh, the sign, the trade sign. There's no chest sign anymore, like you saw in the previous episodes. Um, there's these trade signs where it can be used for storage, but apparently you can't break them to get all your items back. But I'll show you another example in the future and later on this on this episode. Something brand new is instant teleportation to another portal. And here's the spawn. It's basically the same layout. Uh, the reason why it's fifth season is because, uh, you know, first bucket would be the first ever world of, uh, bucket vanilla on this server then the second one was a wipe and then that was like the the snowy spawn then the third wipe would be the uh the medieval like spawn that alpha built to help a single with the big fountain in the middle right in the fourth season was this spawn right it was like all the quartz or snow on the ground with a big hill with the similar sp uh, layout on this one exact same layout so the fifth season, what the owner did, we just copy and pasted the uh, trees. This middle, it's very different. Uh, oh, there was like the building right in the middle. That's pretty nice. It's very simple. I like simple. And she just copied down the uh, the the style of the building. So I heard, don't know exactly, but she plans to change it at all. Um, here's the but the farm that she copied and pasted. This is the. Uh, stock game added banners to like everywhere and that's a z right for zai and then she likes yellow so might as well put it like that to represent her so we have the default stuff oh i don't think it's the exact same one though just because there's no chest or ender chest but that's okay and he's also adding i've, I've seen him like starting to build some stuff around here so it's like Little houses, it's pretty neat. There's, there's, holy cow, that's that's, looks trippy. Some oak logs roof, for oh, there's the barn house. Okay, so instead of quartz, you get this loggy house, and um, yeah, we, she just needs to be reminded. The owner needs to be reminded. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> there's a rabbit inside the barn. And I know I'm level seventy nine just because of the XP farming, right? It's just that the enchantment table is not reachable at this time to enchant and enchanting is really good by the way it's uh it's really really good on xp it only takes a little bit 
and you get a lot of it. I don't know. Oh, this Rotten Flesh would be useful for the villager trading also, so I might as, might as well get rich from that. Uh, my place right now, I'm selling. I don't know what I'm doing right now as town-wise, but um, I know Katie have set up a town. Like, you know, if you're aware of the people that logged in early, those were the people that were setting up towns. So that'll be mods, uh, VIPs. Um, I don't know what she's doing with her town. Apparently she's opening to a public for those that are joining the server, but maybe. Oh, there, there's a new thing. You cannot build unless you claim first, which forces you to claim, which is pretty nice because there won't be any like messy uh, places. And I hear uh, claim blocks are more expensive. They're now $20 instead of the usual 15. Here's my place right here. Uh, the item ID for on flesh is 367, right? And here's 367. Now, I cannot break it. No, no can do. I cannot break the uh, dirt either. No can do it. I won't get rid of the sign. But what I can do, I can refill the sign though with rotten flesh. Now there's 12 rotten flesh. That 12 in the case that there's 12 rotten flesh inside the sign to be able to be sold. But what if you put it money? You can put the, the third line to be money, right? So uh, you're losing money, right? Because if I put rotten flesh in the sign, that means I'm selling rotten flesh. What if I sell money for diamonds? So that means I'm buying your diamonds to be able to Actually, you know what? I'm going to make another sign. All right, so I'm buying diamonds. Actually, should I buy diamonds? Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll buy diamonds. So what you do is type in trade. Oh man, it's risky because it's nighttime. One diamond. I want one diamond. And the price for it would be, I'll buy it for $200. But you need the, the dollar sign, 200 the colon and then the amount of money you have. I don't have $400. I have $200 though. I mean, I can buy one diamond. I don't have enough funds. Wow. Yeah, I don't have 20. Okay, I have $20. Okay, well, I'll buy Ron Flesh then. Yeah, if the trade sign is red, that means you, uh, there's an error. It's blue and it's all correct. Trade, um, one. Actually, you know what? I'll buy three Ron Flesh. 367 and then I'll buy it for I'd say a dollar yeah I'll just make a dollar and then for twenty dollars so there's twenty dollars I can make 20 sales right because tw one times 20 equals 20 so now twenty dollars will be taken to your account and I have zero dollars right and when people uh, st uh they uh, one day Click on the sign, my chat won't get spam, which is a good thing. But the only bad thing is that I can only collect the rotten flesh by clicking on the sign. So I have to walk all the way to my shop to collect the amount of money that I can gain from the sale, which is pretty bad, I guess, because um, that means you have to fill the all the amount of the signs manually. And if I break it, yeah, I can't break it either. So that's a bug. So that means uh, before I can set up my shop, right? Um, I cannot refill the shop, right? Like, how am I supposed to put money inside the sign when I run out of money? Because that 20, that second colon, it I represent the amount of uh, item inside that sign. So once that gets fixed, I'll get a shop running, right? I'm basically the, the major shop owner on the server. I'm planning to sell more stuff this time. Like, um, I probably sold 50 plus items. I'm planning to sell 200, like most of all the Minecraft stuff. Uh, what else is there? Did I show you guys spawn? No, I didn't. But apparently, we had a uh, server developer on that goes on the server. His name is Gabe. You may notice him from uh, uh, Biggs' live stream. And he noticed that the world warrior was so small that he was he was able to find many people on the server. As you can see, we see houses all close uh, together. And that's basically the main idea of what Zai wants. She wants like a town based orientated thing on the server. So expect more towns. Yeah, but, but my town, I'll talk about my town. So basically what I want is uh, to be owner, like always, like I, I was in a
previous ones. Like, why do I? I just want to do my own thing. And if there are other people that were willing to join, then go ahead. Like I, what I did in the last one, like exact same format. I was leader, I built them all, and then I had extra land. So uh, I had a few friends just fill it up for me, which is pretty neat since uh, I uh, they, that space was used up really well. The only problem I had was that uh, Sai was like, oh, Johnson Sound built all this. like, But she didn't know who the uh, builder was, so... I think if there are gonna be builders, I'm gonna put the uh, the names or have a billboard saying the builders are the following and put the banners uh, in front of the uh, their their build so they get credit where credit is due. That's the only problem I had. So the only thing missing is a piece of land. I just need to explore the uh, the main world. This is the world where you can build stuff. Um, the only problem is that I cannot build because I need more claim land and to get more claim land you need to mine some materials at the expo world and then you sell at the shop and okay so go over here no I did not yeah I did not show yeah well, should I show it basically this this spawn is like very spaced out at the beginning but I'll get used to it so we got Z for Zai I don't think you can open it no oh <gasps> There's a new block. Ooh, and the site. I think no, that's granite. That's polished granite. What's over here? There's like signs labeled there. I think the path should be color coded. If this is three wide, yeah. If it is three wide, I don't know how you can color code it, but color coding would be nice. Oh, this is a new jail system. I think they said they gonna make it. There's there's smaller, right? What? Oh, that's glass, isn't it? Yeah, they get viewing now. I, I don't think viewing is like a good idea, but I be believe they're more secure. So there won't be any escape prisoners. Lots of fugitive on the loose. Just because uh, it's more secure apparently. So the shop, there's Server Saturday Tower. That's where uh, people, if you're aware of Server Saturday, that's where the owner goes there to earth every server. And not every server, every Saturday. To display people's build. Alright, I want to show you guys where the shop is just because that's the most important thing on the server, right? Because you need money, currency to be to to claim stuff. But yeah, the only command would be slash battle slash home. That's the only two commands. And slash uh, buy claim blocks. I think that's the most uh, useful command that are available for the lowest rank. Alright, so here's the shop. We got diamonds for 500, okay. We got iron ingot, 10 for, 10 for 150, oh. Wasn't this like so bad before? It wasn't like 10 for like $4? That's interesting. Well, someone just can make a golem farm and then just sell all that iron. So iron's like more OP now. You know, gold for 200, okay. We have coal for 32. Oh, they changed the price. Why is lapis $62 and redstone 64? That's like OCD there. All right, and then we over here, we have uh, yeah more stuff coming soon. Emerald is lacking behind. You expect emeralds, but people don't have villagers farm yet. Uh, I'm planning not to do villagers farm just because they take so much of your time, but there's the bonus of villagers and saddles that would increase sales, but I kind of want to do Buildings first, right? Have a house first, then have a shop layer. You know, change stuff a bit. Have a house for once, but yeah, that's basically it. I have no idea where to live right now. I'm just gathering as much material as I can, like everyone else is. I'm 5,000 million years old. Yeah, but that's a great way to end the episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you're interested in joining the server, you must fill an application to be uh, whitelisted. Oh, oh, if you're whitelisted before, I forgot to mention this. If you're whitelisted before, but it says uh, do not, uh, if it, and the server uh, unwhitelisted you, uh, what you need to do is just reapply it on the engine. Uh, the way to do that is uh, go find your old application and cancel it. But if you haven't 
applied to the server and you're interested in joining, you have the you have fill out application. The application consists of um, supporting a channel. Xylus Play, right? Because it's title of the this video is called Xylus Play Subserver. Uh, all you need to do is supporter. Um, have, put your likes to public just to indicate that um, a show of proof. I know some people have it on private like I do. Um, yeah, uh, just show your support. Just, I don't know, like a bunch of videos and you should be good to go.